All right, well, let's go ahead and get started. Impossible! And yes, I keep the brightness up all the way. A lot of people say that they're like, oh, it's not as scary like that, but, I mean, I'm not playing this game to get scared. I'm playing it because it's, it's, it's a fun survival horror game, and it's got a really interesting element in, like, how you have to get... Which, I mean, I'll talk about this more, but... We'll we'll get to it. We'll, we'll get to why the, the reasons that why I like it. But one of the reasons, like it, the the primary reason, is not that I like to be frightened by it. So having the brightness all the way up does not detract from gameplay at all for me. And in fact, you guys should thank me because this is the only way that you'll ever be able to actually see anything that I'm doing during the LP. So if I turn the brightness nice and high, CEC mission ER five two nine status update. USG Killian on route to Aegis system. Primary mission assets, Isaac Clark, Engineering and Ship System Specialist, Kendra Daniels, Computer Specialist, Zach Hammond, Chief Security Officer, Detective A. Basically, gotta go find their shit and fix Isaac, it. Isaac, it's me. I wish I could talk to you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about everything. I wish I could just talk to someone. It's all falling apart here. I can't believe what's happening. How many times you watched that thing? Guess you really miss her. Don't worry, we're almost there. You'll be able to look her up once we're on board. Sounds like you do have a lot of catching up to do. All right, everyone, we're here. Sinking our orbit now. All this trouble over that chunk of rock. Deep space mining is a lucrative business, Miss Daniels. Aegis 7 is a gold mine, according to prospectors' reports. Cobalt, silicon, osmium. Now, where is she? There she is. We have visual contact. So that's Ishimura. Impressive. The USG Ishimura. Biggest planet cracker in her class. And it looks like they already popped the cork. Why is it all dark? I don't see any running lights. Corporal, take us in closer and hail them. And stay clear of that debris field. We're here to fix their ship, not the other way around. USG Ishimura, this is the emergency maintenance team of the USG Kellyan responding to your distress call. Come in, Ishimura. You're gonna need to boost the signal if their power's low. Yes, we know. Boost the signal. More. Never heard of a total communications blackout on one of these things. You'd think with a thousand people on board, someone would pick up the phone. What is that? It's a busted array like we thought. Sounds like they're having problems with their encoder. You get us down there and Isaac and I can fix it. 48 hours max. All right, you have the lady. Take us in, let's see what needs fixing. Gravity tethers engaged. Automatic docking procedures a go. What the hell? Sir, the auto dock. What is it? We're off track. We're gonna hit the hole. Hit the blast shields. That guidance tether is damaged. Switch to manual. Now. Inside the magnetic field? Are you insane? Abort! No! We can make it inside. Corporal, I gave you an order. The field's too strong. Everyone okay? What? What the hell were you? Now settle down. Let's get to work. Corporal, report. I'm not getting any readings from the port booster, and we've lost comms and autopilot. It'll take some time to fix. All right. Let's get some extra hands from flight deck to help out. Hold still, Isaac. I'm syncing up everyone's rig with the ship. Okay, we're done. Clean bill of health for everyone. All right. We've still got a job to do. We're moving out. And we get our first good look at the protagonist. I did, I did turn the camera around for a second there so that you guys could see Isaac's face 
before the cutscene ended because he doesn't take the helmet off again until the final cutscene of the game, so you don't get to see him much. And you see the, the other NPCs are walking into the ship, getting their work done. And I believe if we look around in here, oh, it's a tutorial system. Okay, I, yes, I know this. We come back here, we have a small health pack we can pick up, we can go ahead and grab that. Or a small med pack, I guess they're technically called. But let's see, anything else to do on the ship? I don't think so. Go ahead and hop off. And the ship's pretty well screwed up. If you look over the railing here, let's see. You didn't lose power to the port booster. You lost the port booster. Unbelievable. That. Underneath the railing there, see it? Sitting down on the ground? It's more important later. The Ishimura was the first Planet Cracker class vessel and is now the oldest serving with 62 years of continuous service. It holds the record for highest number of planet cracks with 30 and highest weight of refined product at 14 trillion kilotons and counted. Whether you'll be joining us in the Ishimura or strengthening the extraction workforce on the colony, the captain and crew would like to welcome you and we hope your stay is a pleasant one. Concordance Extraction Company, powering humanity into the future. Ooh. Trying to get, I was trying to let you guys hear what the TV says up there, but of course the NPCs insist on, tr like, talking and telling Isaac to do crap during that. Don't you know when you get off a ship you're supposed to watch that little thing, man? Anyway, walk up and push A, we can open the door. Hooray! Let me walk in here. I gotta say, Isaac's suit looks so strange, because it, ch it changes drastically as you upgrade it throughout the game. But, uh, because right now it looks so different from the, last, from the final permutation of the suit that it just seems really strange to be playing with a character that looks like this. Ugh. Anyway. Seems like everyone was trying to pack in a hurry. Whoops. There should be a security detail in here. Yeah? Well, there's not. There's nobody here. I can't pick up any broadcasts. But that security console is still live. Isaac, log in and see what you can find. Kendra, get that elevator back online. Power's dead. I can't. Then we root the damn power! Look, if we all cooperate, we can figure this out a lot sooner. Let's get that computer display up, Isaac. Alright, we will do. So, yes, the locator system. All you have to do is... I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna explain all this later, guys. Alright, well... Yeah, once we get once we get our weapon, then then we're gonna do the do the moves thing, okay? I'm not gonna talk about that just yet. Anyway, come over here and push A. Load the damage report. Huh? That doesn't look good. She's taking a lot of damage. The tram system's offline. Getting around's gonna be difficult. The air seems to be flung again. That's a start. Oh crap! What the hell was that? Automatic quarantine must have tripped when the filtration system restarted. Everybody relax. What was that? Did you hear that? Not sure. The hell? Oh, shit. I don't know. Something's in the room with us. Jesus! Oh, shit! Send her power! Send her! Come on. Come on. Got it! Oh, shit. Get the hell out of there! The door's unlocked! Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. Whatever. Oh shit, get out of here. Dude, they're right behind us, man. Run, Isaac! Get the hell out of there! This guy's like right on my ass, too. Like, he's actually like right there when you get through that doorway. You turn around in the elevator and hit the A button there to close the doors on him. You get actually get away from that one, from the elevator there. <laughs> Whew! I don't know what you can do there, that's actually a cutscene. Music keeps playing as we descend into the ship. Oh man. Oh man. Things are getting exciting already. Anyway, we get off the uh, elevator here. And I can't do anything yet. Until we find this guy. And sitting here on the table, the plasma cutter. Yes, yeah, like five people tell us that. Alright, alright, stop it. Stop it! Stop, tutorial stop tutorializing me. Cut off their limbs. Dude, you need to be let in. Anyway, shoot this thing here. It deactivates the door locks. We can, we can let him in. Oh, shit. God damn it. Why you guys gotta go and get eat? 
Alright. So basically, I'm not going to be going to really slow in this LP. I'm not going to be... But I'm not going to be going particularly fast either. So there certainly won't be a speed run. But I don't, I don't intend to skip any cutscenes. I don't intend to like skip or skip or talk over dialogue. And uh, but I'm not going to be doing it. In a, I am, I am going to try to explore as much, as much as I can because, just because I know that exploring leads you to better items and stuff. Those are the things that you find. But uh, you don't have to explore too much because there's really not that much to explore in this game. Anyway, we'll pick up the health packet, and I think that we're in the next episode. We're going to have to continue this. So I'll see you guys next time when we will continue playing Dead Space.